Hello, and welcome to my channel, Making Crafts. Today, I am going to finish up on my With a Touch of Lace journal. So today, it's really just adding a few bits and pieces here and there and finishing up. So I want to first get started with, um, I think I'm making going, I do have a lot of the pieces that I can add to the pockets, but I think first I've got a couple of pockets I want to work on. Let me see. I've got a flap here that was, and on the other side is the um, envelope that I attached into the book. So I want to add something to this flap, and I've been thinking about it, and I pulled out some Tim Holtz paper, but now I've got to find where I laid it. I have piles of stuff everywhere because I am working on this journal, and so I have so many things. Oh, here it is underneath here. I wanted to see if any of these strips we're actually going to be long enough to be the pocket, but I think that every one of them is going to be, well, that one will actually work, and that looks good with the other page. If I put it all the way up to the edge, my concern is, was it gonna flap okay? So I think I'll just have some of the book page showing, and then I will attach it right here at the bottom. I like that one there, so I'm just going to attach it on three sides, and then it'll be a pocket here. But I do feel like it, it's not coming up high enough. I want to cover that little bit. Hmm. What could I add underneath it? Let me look here. This is a touch of lace journal. Why don't we add some lace across there? And I'll have to dig through here and see what I've got. Let me see about this piece of wide lace. That may actually work on the pocket. No, that's too wide and I really don't like that one on that pocket. I like the lace, but not on that pocket. I've got more laid out here that I've been using in this kit. What does this one look like across the top of it? I kind of like that, so I think I'll be adding that. So let me add lace to the actual card first. lace using some Fabri-Tac, and my bottle of Fabri-Tac is getting low, so it's harder to come out. Now i got to figure out what's the top and what's the bottom. Okay, that's the top there. And then once we, once I get through adding all these, I can do a flip through. I may wait and do a flip through in a, vi a flip through video. But I have added all the pockets and different things that I wanted to decorate with, but then the more I looked at it, okay, Got a few more things I want to add, like this. I wanted to add this pocket. I was really down to adding journaling cards and tags, but then I decided to decorate it up just a little bit more with a few more little things. So then I'm just going to add that there. Will that, how will that affect the page? I think maybe just add it. I think it's better. So I think I'm just going to leave a little gap where you see the music. And then I'm just going to add it to the page. I'm just going to glue it on three sides so it can be a pocket. So let me add some to that fabric too. And then we'll just attach it to, so I'm attaching it to this flap, but then it's also going to be attached to this book page here that well, I am off camera. Okay, so I'm attaching it on three sides, so it's a pocket, and this is a book page, and it really didn't have anything left on this side. The other side had some beautiful flowers, so I wanted to include it, but then I needed to decorate this side up, so I think this works perfect with it, and so that gives me a good little pocket there, too. There's some glue in the center of these little holes here. I was trying to clean up so it doesn't stick to the other page. Okay. So there, and then we could add, I had the journaling card I thought would look good in this pocket just now, just thought about it. These daisies here, and this is just a Tim Holtz, um, Tim Holtz paper, wild, wildflower, and I've just, it's just some scraps that I had, and so I've just cut them down to journaling cards, because I thought that they would work with this kit. So I thought it'd be a good idea to add it. This 
ink is not really, there we go, showing up well. Okay, and see there's plenty of journaling spot on the back. Even though it's a design, you can write over that just fine. And so I think that will be good right there. Or I could turn it so that you see the flowers. So I like that. Okay, so that's one of the pockets. Make sure I didn't glue it to the other page. Now this side, you're really just looking at the bottom of the woman's dress. I hadn't thought about this side. May need to add something to it. I have this library pocket that could go here, and I think it matches just fine. Now what if we put it in the center of the page? Do it like this. Trying to decide here. Hmm. That is one page I had not worked on. We will come back to that one. Okay. And let's see, what else did I have that I wanted to add something? This needs something here as well. So I'm not as done as I thought I was. Okay, so for this page, I had this laid in here because I was reminded myself. I want to add this along with some of this lace at the bottom. So here we, I'm just going to put it right here. I think like that. Or do I want it like this? I kind of want to wrap it around the page as well. So, it's going to be a pocket. So let me show you what it's going to be a pocket for. And that's why I need to measure. So I have these strips left over from the packaging that I've been using to make little journals and different little things for this kit. So I thought I would make a little notebook. And this is just a scrap piece of paper I had left over from as well that I had been using in it. I think that may be what I used on the cover. Yeah. So that was just a little leftover. And I thought it would make a cute little notebook to go in a little pocket right here. So... I wanted to wrap it around the page though, and you stick it in there. So I thought that'd be cute. So I'm going to need to cut it, let's see, cut it right here. But we can always trim it off if it's too much. So then, okay, I gotta straighten that up though, that's a hot mess. Okay, so I'm just gonna add that there. And this is a pocket here, but I'm okay with it wrapping around. I can just put a smaller journaling card down in that pocket. So let's just see here. Wrap it around like that. Maybe just a little bit more on this side, because this side's just gonna be a little decoration. Yeah, so let's just add that like this. Okay, so I just need a little bit of glue. Do the side and the bottom because we're going to leave it a pocket so we don't want to glue it on all sides. Okay, so just add that there. And this is going to go as a decoration on it. And this is just using one of the little embellishments from Happiness and Crafting um, Fusty Cut Kit. And then I have just made a cluster by using scraps of leftover paper and made a strip. And I made this months ago when I made when I used her fussy cut kit in something else. I just made these up with the scraps I had left over. And so I knew they'd come in handy sometime or another. I just want to make sure I didn't glue that shut by doing that. Okay, so then we're just going to wrap it around and glue it on this side. And I'm not going to glue it shut either because I may find something to stick in it. As a little pocket and if I don't whoever buys this journal may have some little something they want to add to it there we go and it could probably use a little decoration what if we put this is that too big to go on it then you're not gonna see the lace I may have another one I'll have to dig through my little pile over here and see I may have something from the kit as well. Actually, here's a little tag from the kit that could go in it. So that would be cute in it. What I'm going to have to come back and put a little decoration there. But there we go. And then here we got this. And let's go ahead. Let me glue that up right there.
let's go ahead and make our little notebook that's going to go in there. So all I've done is I've got a strip that was left over. I have folded it over, and I have all these little strips that were just, this is the size they were where I cut down off of the little journaling pages, a little journal that I made for this kit. And now I just need my stapler. That, so what I was thinking about doing is I don't know if my stapler can go in there like that. Let's see if it can. I was just going to staple the middle if it could, but it could, can't, so that's okay. So what I'll do is I'm just going to staple it at the top here, the very top. That's going to hold it together, and then I'm going to just glue it in here. Okay, so let me just add some glue. This part here and just a little right here so that the back stays intact. Then we got just a little journal spot here. So I have a little bitty heart from one of G's Friday freebies. I'm just going to add it along with some lace that matches this little pocket. This is getting very low. Okay. While I'm waiting for it to run down, I'm going to move this so you can see it. I'm just going to add the Fabri-Tac right there. So here's our little piece of lace. And then we're just going to add a little bitty heart. Probably should use Fabri-Tac again. Add that little heart there. And I think that decorates it up really cute. So we just stick it in this little pocket. And there we have our little pocket. And you know I did glue it shut at the bottom and I probably shouldn't have so that could have, but I think it's okay right there. I think that'll be fine. Okay, you know what? I think the pocket I think it needs to be just a little shorter to work out, so let's just trim off. Wow, did you see those? Those went everywhere. Okay, maybe I should trim a little less at a time so I can get it straight. Okay. And maybe it won't fly everywhere. There we go. I didn't think that through, did I? There we go. And there. So we got a lot straighter now. So I wonder, press that down good. It was coming loose. I think I'll just ink a little on the corner here and the outside sheets. I'm not going to ink all the sheets. I'm just going to ink the ones you can see from the outside. There's a little notepad. So that looks better. That fits better in that pocket. It's small enough now to go in it. Okay, let's just close up the glue while I'm going through this book and adding things. So there we go. Another thing I wanted to add was on this page, I want to add some, a little pocket there. So today I'm just adding the little bitty pockets in. Okay, so we're going to add this little pocket and this is just a little embellishment from the kit. So I've just fussy cut it out and now I'm just going to Add it to this little, this is a pocket on a pocket. So that's what I'm going to do. Put glue on my fingers. And I have a bunch of these somewhere. I've got to dig around on my desk because I have so much mess. But I have a bunch of these little bitty journaling cards and that's what's going to go in there. I'm just going to stick them down in there when I find them. There's a cute little journaling card that could go as well. And I will find the rest and add those. It's two or three more. It's just that they have slid off somewhere. They may have actually slid under my computer. So I'll have to look and see. But that's just another little pocket. I just want to add some little details like that. Some cutesy little things. Okay. And I'm 
just look in here. That. Okay, I realized I didn't want this here. I messed up. I actually wanted this piece here, and this was to go here. So I'm just going to swap them out really quickly. Thank goodness it hadn't dried all the way. It's going to get some glue on it. Put that there. And I just found that in the book and realized I had messed up. This one is going to go on this piece of lace because it was a little plain. Just going to hold both of those down for just a moment. Okay. So there we go. Make sure it didn't stick through on my paper here. Make sure no glue got on it. Might should leave that out till it dries. And let's see, I think that's all I wanted to add for now, except for right here I have a piece of paper because I'm trying to decide what to do with this page, but I may leave it as a journaling page. So we'll just see about that. Okay, so for here, let's go ahead and close up these glues. Okay, so let's just start at the beginning of the book and start adding some of the decorations. So we already got a little journal notebook in this pocket. So for the front pocket, I want to add, I'm trying to find it, this. So this is just a collection of leftover scraps from the Happiness and Crafting different kits that I've used through the year. And so um, I thought that would be good because this, whoever receives this could journal on them, but they could also take them apart and they could collage with them. And this is um, from Roxy's Weekly Challenge. So this page is done. This one, we need some little journaling cards. And I do have some different ones. I'm just going to audition a few. I have those from Tim Holtz, but then I also have some from the kit that I've laid aside over here. There's one. And then here is another one. So I think those would be good right there. So just simple. See, that's not a pocket. Well, that is a pocket. I was trying to figure out where it's at. So for this pocket, we... In the previous video, I made these little journaling spots, and they're just trifolds. And I used leftover packaging from just some mail that I got. And so I've just taken that and put some collage decorations. And so you've got this whole area that you can collage. I mean, to you could collage on, but you could also, it's for journaling, is what my intentions for it. So I'm just going to put that down in that pocket. So we've got that field. That's a book page. I think I'll leave that plain. I want to leave plenty of journaling space and spaces for pictures. And then for this pocket, let me dig through my things here that we've made up in advance. Um, this would be good. And so I need a little tab on that. So let me just get a little piece of Tim Holtz paper and let's cut a tab. So just fold it over like this. And then I'm going to get my tab punch. We'll just cut a little tab out. I've got everything stuck to my scissors. I think they need cleaning too as much as I've worked on this journal this weekend. I haven't had time to clean up anything. I think this is a very good neutral piece of paper that would be good. And it was just some I had left over. So now I'm just going to make a tab. i got to make sure. I may have made the paper too big. Just trim it down just a tad. I don't want to. I want to keep it folded because I want the top edge to not get punched. So that's why I'm trying to make it where it'll fit down far enough that I miss that top edge. So it could be all one piece. Just 
make a bunch real quick while it's in here. Probably going to need some. I don't know if this piece is going to be big enough to go make a tab, but we'll see. It's not. So, there we have two off of that little strip. So, let's clean this up. And we're just going to add it to this little corner here. And I gotta make sure that it's going to fit in our book. When I add it, we're gonna make sure that I make it low enough that it goes so that the pocket can actually, there we go. Don't have a lot of extra room, so we're gonna have to make it be down on it, mostly. I think that'll be good. So I just got to eyeball on the corner there. Which corner do I want? Maybe like that. Let's try that side. I like that side better on it. Okay, just, just ink it up. Okay, so I think that looks really good there. So I'm just going to add it into the pocket. And that way you have something to see that you got to pull it out. Okay. For here, I was thinking, I wanted something pretty neutral because there's so many colors going on. And so I think that would make a cute little journaling card. So just gonna put that one there. Then we have, that's a journaling spot. Oh, we got a tag that needs to go here. So let's put a tag in here there we go that was the fabric tag i made and the fussy cuts were from g's fussy cut kit and for here we need a journaling card i'm thinking this or let's try this little thing this might work good too let's try that in there and see if that, how that fits i think that's what it was made for but i may have made it too big Hmm. So we're going to have to switch some things around. That's what we're going to have to do. Okay. So let's try this little journaling card to see how it does. That fits good in there. And I like how you can see the sewn on the edge. And then we have this one here. And for it, we need a tag. I'm thinking this one or maybe this one. Kind of like that pink showing through and put the curls there. Just taking a look here. Oh, I know what I want to put this one. I'm changing my mind. I think this one would look good coming out of this top pocket here on the page. Let's close this up for now. So am I getting my pages confused? This one. I was getting them confused. So this is just a, another fabric pocket with some fussy cuts from the Happiness and Crafting Fussy Cut Kit. So I got that. Okay, we have a tag there. Let's try this one there. That'll work good, the butterflies. We have something in that pocket. We have this pocket. So here, what do we want to put? Thinking that's going to be too much. Let's try this little journaling card. Okay, I think that looks good. And then this one's another choice. It's a little too big, so let's go with this one. Okay, and let's see what else do we have that needs filling. That one's already done. Then we could add a journaling card here. If I want this sticking out like that, or like this. So I think this is good here. And then I'm just going to leave this as a journaling spot. So we have this. So here I think I'm going to just put some of these little cards like this. 
And I have some more little cards that may would work there. I think that looks good. And I may have had one more. I was just looking. Sometimes I will go back once I get through and see what all is left over my table. And I will add some more little cards and stuff in spaces. So that fills that one up. And then we got this spot. I'm going to put this little pocket. It's one of the Friday freebies. And what I've done is put a pocket and then I put a pocket on a pocket with some that little stamping that I've done. So I'm going to put that there. I've got that. I'm going to leave this for journaling. I've got this pocket here. I don't think it needs anything else. And let's see. I do want something on the back of this, but we come, we're going to come back to that. Oh, for here, I want to put this little, and this is what I made using some of the packaging, the paper that's in packaging, and so I just made a little journal. So that's going in this pocket. If you've watched my other videos, I think you've seen me talk about this one. So I, that really came in neat, I thought. Okay, so we need, okay, so this can go in this pocket, hopefully. It is too big. So let's just put this journaling card there. That's what we put in the other one. And then for this pocket, what do we want in it? This might be a pretty little journaling card to put in it. That does look pretty. Then we, or that one look better. I think that one will fit better in this one. Yes, that works better in that one. And then these can go in here. And then we have that one. And we have this here. You could just put this. We got that in it. Put these little, that was too skinny. I saw some other ones. Okay, we'll just leave that for now. And we'll come back. Okay, and then with this little pocket, and I did find my little tags here. There's a bunch of these little bitty, and that came from a Friday, Friday freebie as well. To what? That would fit in here as well. So let's get one of those out. Let's see, which one do we want to, I think this one. Go in that little pocket, and then Yes, for these. That's cute. There we go. And right here we need a journaling card. Or, we're trying to see if our book fits everywhere. I think I made that book too large to fit in most of our spots. Yeah. Got some more journaling cards here. Let's just add them. It already has one there. I think that'd be good. And then this little book can go right there. So we have something in that pocket. Then do we need anything anywhere else? Because I have these little journaling cards from Tim Holtz paper that like this one. I um we can find one that fits right here. Don't think that's a good right color for it. Okay. So what we're going to have to do is we're just going to have to take our collage sheet that we had left over. I found our collage sheet. This is what was left over. So I'm just going to cut down a piece to fit. Let's see where we want it to fit. We need something right here, and I think this down the end here would be perfect. I gotta see how much I'm gonna have to cut off of it. So I just need to cut a little slither off of it, and then I'm gonna cut it maybe right down the middle of that blue flower. Okay, so I wanna cut it down the middle of that blue flower, and then I want to cut, I'll straighten up this edge too. And then just a slither off the bottom. So I'll just straighten up the bottom and that'll be 
I think that'll be all we need to make the right to fit in there. Let me just reach over here. I know it's off camera, but I'm trying to just reach over there and see. So yeah, that's going to be perfect. This little pink flower is going to look good on here. Along with, we're going to do it up and down like this. Okay, let me see. May not be exactly what I was thinking of. I got another little. Here we go. We've got several choices actually. We've got this little teapot, and then we've got this flower. That might be pretty there. Could even turn the card this way. So I think I'm thinking this one here. Then. Got some labels here. Ooh. Liking this better. So we'll put that there. Along with a piece of pink lace. I'm going to go with the light pink. So let's just do that. Hanging off the edge here. Let's pull out my Tim Holtz words and just see what we can come up with. So if there's any wording we want to put on here, that might be what I'm looking for. Find joy in the ordinary. I like that. So I'm just going to I want to ink it and get some of that white off of it so it stands out better. Okay. Then I'm going to ink the edges. Don't want it to lose it sticky though. I may have, I'm going to add some glue to the back of it since I've touched all over it. Okay. Feels really sticky, but just in case. There we go. So then we're just going to put fine joy in the ordinary. I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to add this little flower. Just doling it up to. Let's put it here. And then we're going to add some lace sticking out the side there. glue that down. We're just waiting for this to work its way down. And then I think we'll pretty much have this journal completed. I'll probably go back through and add a few things here and there when I before I do the, because um, I always wind up doing that. I'll, I'll get ready for the flip through, but then I'll look at it and I'll see something else I want to add and I'll add to it. So so it may have a few more things added at the flip through, and it may not. It's, it's getting really chunky. It's really full. It doesn't really need anything else. It's definitely has plenty of things already. This is gonna go let that dry. And I think, see, it's gotten really chunky. So I think it is ready to go. So that's going to be going, make sure it fits. I do need to add some paper to the back of it. I just want to see what it's going to look like. So that's going to be really pretty sitting there. Okay, so I want to add some paper to the back of it, and I need to glue down this lace a little bit more. And I'll ink around it, and I'll round, maybe I won't round the corner since we have the lace on this side. I may round the corners on this side anyways. We'll see. But there we have that one ready to go. So I really like how this journal is turning out. OK, 
Okay, so the next time you see this journal, it will be totally completed. I'll, I will be doing a flip through of it. I think it's pretty much completed now. I think you've seen most of everything that I'm going to add to it. There may be a few spots that I decide to add some tags or different things. And this spot I am having trouble with. And so I've tried to decide how to fix it so that these cards will stay in. And I think I'm just going to... Did I... Maybe if I add just a little bit more glue on the side here for the dolly. If not, I may have to add a little bit more of a pocket across the page. Let's see if that will hold it. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go through and tweak the journal and just see if there's anything that I have left over from the kit that I want to add to it. Like here's another little journaling card that could go somewhere in the kit. So I may just start, you know, finding pockets to add these things to. But for now, I think we are pretty much done with this journal. I think that if I add much more, it is just going to be way too chunky. And I love the crunch of the cover, the soft cover. Well, I hope that you have enjoyed this series, and I hope that you have followed along the whole time. If you hadn't, be sure to go back and check out my other videos, I have a playlist and it will be labeled with a touch of lace and I have lots of this journal made on camera so that you could see how I made many of the parts and, um, and a lot of the videos explain, if I didn't make it in the video, I did explain how it was made and so thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.